Good morning, everybody. I'm Ed Parker here with Mike Kelly, and we're Real Estate Jerky Daily. Must be Thursday. Well, we're only three minutes late. It feels like Thursday. I'm glad you went to Rotary because I didn't. I kind of had to. Yeah. It was Marshall <laughs> like, this is like, you know, first time in over a year. I'm like, well, no, it's, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. It is. Yeah. And that's okay. I'll yeah. pass it for a little bit. There you go. Okay. And Tom, did Tom give you anything? Yeah, a lot of stuff. Yeah, he was like, you're going to be there because I want to give you, I'm like, dude, it's Mike's year. <laughs> that's why he looks so sad yeah because he wanted to, i don't know he goes i brought you it was five days in a year i go give it to mike it's his year yeah i got some uh, guinness underwear um a some candy some crackers i think or cookies and some scotch a little tiny airplane bottle yeah, yeah like, don't like spend a lot of money there buddy oh it's tom it's, it's okay. Well, one time he came back and he bought the alcohol at Costco for the person. I remember that. Because it was like, it's cheaper here. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing I didn't go for that. I'm telling you, that's not worth it. <laughs> was that was that Craig's year? I don't. Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. The year before. All so, right. What so, do we got? Um, so today is Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Thursday. I hear you having a thing at the P PWEX tonight. Yeah. For yep. Rotary. Yeah. Or anybody who might want to join Rotary, come by and yeah, see absolutely. What we do. Come by. Um, 5 30. I'll yeah. have a little bit of vittles out there for you. And we'll be taking over all the top tall, tall tops in the bar. And, like vittles. What's vittles? Oh, it, for those of you that, that are Nick. under 63. That was Nick. He's, I go, he goes, Well, that's like Mima, Mama. Mom, you know, mama. You know, the grandma thing. Yeah. The redneck. Mima, Mima, Mama. Yeah. Um, it's food um did you reach out to the person who texts or sent an email that wanted to join rotary i through bridge systems you should be getting that um, you might want to look yesterday or the day before okay there was somebody who wants to come because his they he visited his mom in india and went to her rotary and all that stuff and now they want to join i did not see it but i'll look i'll look harder all right well i just, I just saw it and i went into facebook and said take me off i don't want to get all this stuff anymore <laughs> it's not my year <laughs> I'm slowly going away. Yeah. All right. So initial jobless claims came out today, which comes out, what, every Thursday? Right. That is correct. Yeah. Uh, and let's see here. And that's individuals filing for unemployment benefit for the first time. Reported at 235,000 claims for last week. It represents a decrease of 10,000 from the previous week. They were like, I can't I go to work. It's, I can't afford the air conditioning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> job yeah and they revised the figure of 245,000 down to 283,000 238,000 where am I getting these numbers from? I don't know dyslexia is tough <laughs> all right and then continuing claims also decreased to 1.851 million from the previous week of 1.86 million well because you can't stay on forever right that's correct you will fall off eventually because it's not covid area yeah uh, durable good orders reflects new orders placed for domestic manufacturers for delivery of factory hard goods was released for the month of june oh and that decreased by 6.6 percent <laughs> missing expectations of a 2.5 gain Wow. Yeah. X transportation increased by half a percent, which is higher than the estimates of two tenths and core capital goods increased by 1% above the expectation of 0.2 tenths percent. So those were bad numbers showing that, you know, it's getting bad out there and right. there's could be some inflation and the transportation costs are still there. So the um, spending and spending does not help. Right. And that's what, the, you know, and that's what they're talking about. If so, they're pulling back on the spending a little bit. Oh yeah. The, and this Visa stuff. is showing over two, you know the the actual amount of people 60 day plus late is over two percent which is the lar long, highest in forever wow yeah, and people aren't spending people aren't buying lays potato chips they're not buying this they're not buying that people are, are actually stopped getting i really like lays potato chips that was just what one of those things that said <laughs> a gdp first read that second quarter gdp for the first read came in at 2.8 percent which was much stronger than the two percent expected and the previous read of 1.4 so this threw off all the other numbers we just had today right i mean you had initial jobless claims and continuing claims better right and we had the durable goods horrible right and then now you have this showing that was stronger than they expected. But remember, they reread these things multiple times right. and lower them later, and then it doesn't do anything. Because <laughs> consumer spending was strong, rose 2.3%, which was better than the 2% estimates. You got to remember, 
people have to spend money to they have to eat they right. have to do stuff it's not like they're going out and buying new cars and all this other stuff ford lost 1.1 billion dollars on the ev what well, that makes sense i mean it really makes sense the 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 luxury of an ev or the the an ev you spend so much time charging your car when you if you drive a lot you're spending all this extra time travel time becomes exponentially larger um, and people are getting, I think, kind of tired of it. They're realizing that gas is pretty easy. Yeah, what they're looking at is probably uh, gas is getting, you know, they're, the most people are going to hybrids right? instead of the See, that makes a lot more sense, I EV. think. Yeah, that way you can round town, you can use, you know, your the electric, and then if you go a long distance, you can use the gas. Yeah. yeah. Makes more sense, but it's just, so that's what Ford's going to look at. If you look at Ford's numbers, I mean, they're down like $15 a share. They lost wow. so much. Yeah. Maybe a good time to buy some Ford. I think so, because they will turn it around because they've yeah. done it before. Yep. Because I'm not buying any other truck but Ford. I'm not either. I drive a truck now, too. First on race day. <laughs> <laughs> Found on road dead, yeah. other people will say. Yeah. Uh, flipping overrated disaster is what my dad used to say because he was a Chevy guy. My grandfather was a Ford guy. I, he was, I mean, to the point, T-Birds, all the stuff oh, was Ford, my trucks, car. everything was all Fords. Yeah. I'm just, I, I like Dodges. I like Fords. I like BMWs. I like Range Rover. I like everything. Yeah. It's a nice car. I like it. But if it has horrible servicing, you know, it's, doesn't think I don't want it. Right. Because it costs too much. Right. I have the T-Bird one of my favorite cars ever until it became a competition with the continental and they lengthened that thing and oh. made it so ugly. It just became this big boat. Yeah. That was the seventies. Yeah, yeah. They just ruined it. Yeah. Pr the sixties. I like the sixties. Uh, I don't like the fit, the 56 and back 55. No, yeah, those are okay. fine. I just like, I, I drove a 62 ton Thunderbird in high school. Oh, the bullet bird. Oh dude, that thing. I, I was uh, 390. Yeah. It was, no seat belts, right? Right. They didn't have seat you didn't belts. Need them. And they, the seats don't lock into place. They just come forward. <laughs> and I was driving home one day in, in, in Turlock from high school. Right. And that was, a, it's a four lane road, right? So two lanes on each side. Right. No turn lane at the time back then. No. I'm coming up to the right because the people on the left are going to, they're turning left. As I'm coming up, this lady guns it across. I hit her with the T bird. Oh. It put a little dent, dent in my bumper. Yeah. That whole front end is a bumper. Right. And I mean like a strong bumper. It's and chrome. Her, her car was totaled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're made out of gunmetal. <laughs> that thing was a tank. Yeah. And it's like, oh, here you go. police, can you move your car? Sure. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I'll just drive off. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. yeah. That was her fault. She, she ran across. No, it was just. She did. I was coming up when everybody was stopped on this side. Oh, okay. I thought I'm coming up this way. She's cutting across, so she's going across. She didn't see me coming as she guns it across. So she was in the wrong because of how she crossed the traffic. Wow. Yeah. But that was like, you know, if that would have been any other vehicle, it would have been totaled like my Ford Courier I had in high school. Oh, it would have been a tin can. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. It was a tin can. Yeah, it was, dude. I, yeah. It was a cool tin can. But I, I love with it. That one of my favorite T birds is the Bullet Bird. Yeah. Is that the 62? 61 through 63. My dad had a 61 with red tuck and roll leather interior and that telesc that steering wheel that got out of the way. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. very cool. Yeah, because you need that when you're really heavy. Yeah, <laughs> which we weren't in high school. So you can get that gut out. When you were uh, dirt road per, poor. No, I was 155 pounds. Yeah, 62, that ring and wet with probably two ten, pound weights in your hand. Yeah, and uh, so, I mean, I, I like those vehicles. I saw some convertible ones. I wouldn't mine but i i you know i had a 69 mustang actually after that in high school and that was nice i reworked worked on it and everything and did everything but you know everybody's like oh, i want to go buy the older cars and this uh, i like the niceness of the new cars yeah. start them we yeah, go and we have a heated yeah. seats heated that air conditioning works all the time so some, i wouldn't mind karen told me that if i when i'm done remodeling the house i could buy a 61 t-bird i wouldn't mind having one but I don't really want to pay for storage and I don't really want it to be sitting outside with a tarp over the top of it. You so, got a three car garage? No, two. Only two? Two. We searched for, you know, I'm the worst realtor in the world. I was looking for 18 to 1900 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, um, three car attached garage and a pool. And I got 2,800 square feet, four bedroom, three bath, no pool and a two car detached garage. <laughs> well, but the always, neighborhood you just can't beat. 
Yeah, but you could always bring that garage into your house and get rid of that walkway. Yeah, I kind of like that walkway. I know, but I'm. So I listened to a guy. I, you, you done with your stuff? He yeah, was I have nothing else. He was talking basically what we've been saying for for a year, year and a half. That now is the best time to buy, or ten years ago, and he likened it to exactly what we've been saying. For every decrease in interest rate, about five million buyers yep. come back into the market. Yep. So your competition is lower right now. Um, even though we're going into what's kind of uncharted territory for most of the realtors in the, in the central Valley in California with a buyer brokerage agreement, we'll figure that stuff out. It'll start working easily, easily. Um, one thing realtors do is they always overcome the obstacles that are in our way and with never a decrease in the support and, um, uh, good, good service delivered to the consumer. Um, sometimes the forms don't help the consumer, but then we uh, we'll go back and adjust them. But now's and the best time. Now is really the best time to buy. You you can't change your purchase price down the road, but you can change your interest rate. So just can wanted you? to we re reiterate that. I thought this guy did a good job with the presentation. Where was uh, this at? It at? It looked like some some live pre presentation somewhere. It was a reel um, that just popped up, and I went, "Oh, hey, we've been saying this for a year and a half." Yeah. Well, people are listening. Yeah. Right when you're ready to give up, people start listening. I'm not going to give up. <laughs> you're letting for punishment, are yeah, you? Yeah, I think we both are. But I think that's really all I have. I just wanted to reiterate that um, really the best time to buy is right 10 now. years ago or today. today. Yeah, just, I mean, it's if you can afford the payment, go into it now. Don't worry about, hey, I'm going to refinance in a year or two years. That's That'll happen, but you don't really know when that's going to happen because if – the current administration stays in inflation is going through the roof again all because right. she's all about uh universal health care universal payment don't have to work all child care for free all that stuff well who's going to pay for it yeah taxes they're going to tax you well and i think i think she's going to finally go to the border too have you seen that reel where she says we've been to the border we're going to the border we're all about the border. And then the interviewer says, have you been to the border? No, I haven't been to the border. I haven't been to Europe either. <laughs> That's also what she said. But the, the, and I'm not what, knocking. Has the, what to do with anything. Yeah. the I just, that's where the policies are at. If you keep, you know, it's Margaret Thatcher said, you know, socialism works really well until you, you run, run out of other people's money. And yeah. that's the problem. We can't go down this road anymore. Yeah. We've had four years of, Joe Biden, who was supposed to be a moderate, who lied, and now he was pushed over to the left. Well, she is extremely left. She's a li uh, San Francisco liberal, big, big time. Go back in her thing. She was the most liberal senator, senator in history. It you, Don't take my word for it. Search it. Right. And so yeah. that we can't handle those policies anymore. We have to make changes. And I I don't care if you're a Republican, Democrat, or independent. I don't care. But this is where we are right now needs to change, period. Right. If there was an independent, what's his name? Uh, Kennedy was actually had a chance of winning. He, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. We're pretty much all of us are in the middle. Those extremes is what's ruining us. And we need to stop that. Yeah, exactly. So. And right. with that, we're gonna go before yeah. everybody can we get we get uh canceled. We got <laughs> this damn cancel culture. Yeah, well, it's all right, happening. You can't cancel your own show. All right, make it's it true. a great day. Peace Thanks out. for being here, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Come on.